Hi, my dear friend. Welcome to the channel. This is Salon's blog. It is a great morning here, and I want to welcome you in a very special way. It is Tuesday, and I believe you are up and strong, and you are doing great. Wherever you are in Africa, very good morning to you. In Europe, in America, Canada, or any part of the world that you are watching me from, I appreciate your company, and I want to let you know that you are the reason why I am here this very hour to deliver to you exclusives. Yes, yesterday was another day. We tried to analyze the game we played on Sunday. The losses that we made, you know. So far, the position of Chelsea Football Club on the league table is not good enough. It's not good enough. 12 on the league is just not good enough. 18 points behind the leaders on the table. Liverpool, 18 points behind the first position. 18 points behind the first position. It's not good enough. It never happened in the history of Chelsea Football Club. I mean, since I began to follow Chelsea 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, this is the first time. It is the first time we are falling behind 18 points on the 12th position. My dear friend, you can tell me in the comment section if I'm right or not. Well, moving away from the point issue, a new release by Romeo. No. <laughs> a new release by Christopher Nkuku. On his Instagram page, he posted this picture indicating, he says that, see you soon on his Instagram page. For those of you that are interested in knowing, he says, see you soon, Chelsea family. That is his latest picture on his Instagram page. See you soon, Chelsea family. So maybe, maybe before Christmas, we should be expecting him. Because this is just, he posted this only yesterday. Yeah, he posted this only yesterday. See you soon, Chelsea family. From Christopher Nkuku. At least we have a hope. But for me, I would love to see him on the pitch of play, delivering the goals. Even though he's not a striker, he is an attacking midfielder who can score so many goals. Yeah, he is an attacking midfielder that can score so many goals. And that is what we are waiting for. That is what we are expecting. So I'm hoping to see him on the pitch of play very soon. Very soon. On the other news, on the, on the other news, we are hearing from Fritz Fletcher via Team Talk. Fritz Fletcher via Team Talk that Noni Madweke, Trevor Chaloba, Amanda Broa, Mark Kukurela, Axel Di Sassi, and Madsen and Malogusto are among those who are considered available options to be sold and replaced with better quality over the next two transfer windows. So the players are mentioned their name. Right now, they are considered as players that can be sold in case any team, any, any, any club, to apply for them, or she want them. These players, that Noni Madweke, Trevor Chaloba, Amando Broa, Marco Krela, Axel Di Sassi, and Martin and Malogusto are among those players that are considered available to be sold. Yes, they are considered available to be sold. Well, one player that I would have loved to, him to stay, actually, would have been I Martin. Yes, but... Looking at the way things are going in Chelsea Football Club now, we have too many average players. Too many average players that we don't need. Yes. And just like Mikel Obi has said, let me read for you what Mikel Obi said. I will tell you what Mikel Obi and other people have said regarding the kind of players we have right now. First and foremost, first and foremost, John Obi Mikel says, Conor Gallagher wouldn't get into their starting 11 back in the day. This is from John Mikel Obi. He says that Conor Gallagher wouldn't get into their starting eleven back in the day. He is a decent player. Is he a Chelsea midfield player? Starting eleven back in the day when we were playing, would Gallagher get into the starting eleven? No chance, according to Mikel Obi. No chance. I don't. He said, I don't think so. And he has a point, and it is true. Why am I saying it is true? For me, Gallagher picked up form to that level we were expecting him to be playing. It's now before he's trying to get there. And don't forget, back in the days when we have midfielders like Lampard, we have midfielders like 
like Mikel himself. We have players like Michael Essien. We have Balak. Balak, you remember Balak? They were all in that midfield. Not to talk about uh, uh, Makelele and the rest who left earlier. So you can imagine you have Balak, you have, even Balak, there were times that Balak was on the bench. <laughs> there were times that Balak was on the bench. He was not playing regularly. So tell me, if Galaga was to be part of that team, that squad then, do you think he'd be the starting level? So I agree with Mikel Obi perfectly that Galaga wouldn't get into the first 11 back in the days. He is an average player. This squad Chelsea have right now, the squad is an average squad, mid-table squad. Maybe in two years to come, three years to come, yes, but for now, he is an average player and Chelsea itself, we are a big table club. The players we bought are for the next two, three years, not now. Paul Mason on Copama. Paul Mason on Copama. This is what he has to say. He said, Copama has been a really good signing, but I'm not sure there is much else in the squad. Mikhailo Modric hasn't really got going. Moise Casado doesn't look like a 115 million pound player. Enzo Fernandez looks really good every now and then. I said this as he looks good when he plays next to Thiago Silva. And he's playing well. Noni Madweke and Kanechukwe Meka don't play. You see, everybody's trying to analyze the players one by one. These players we have right now, are they fit for Chelsea? Chelsea's position, Chelsea's football club, the, high, the level at which the club is, a winning club, these players, are they qualified to be in the first 11? The conclusion of the matter is that these players are bought for the future. Our owners, they are business people. They understand the, the, the need to invest in the future. They don't think about the current. They are thinking about the future. Three years to come, four years to come, when these players matured. But this is not Wall Street business, my friend. This is not investing money in the... In the in, Investing in the, in the money market on Wall Street, long term, you know, investment on Wall Street, you know, this is not it. This is football club. You don't win today. You are beginning. You are from that moment. You are beginning to lose money because there's no guarantee that Casado next year you will grow and you will match up to be that player you want him to be. There is no guarantee that Michael Moydrick, the talent in him, the way we saw him before we went for him, next year he will develop and he will become. No, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee that Axel Di Sassi will continue to play alongside Thiago Silva every now and then. No, there is no guarantee, my dear friend. Not in Madrid, can it One player that I miss so much is Kanichi Kwemeka with the injury. I would have loved to see more of him. Yes, I would have loved to see more of Kanichi Kwemeka. But our owners believe much more in the future. And football is not so much about the future, it's about now. You can buy two, three players for the future in your team, your squad. Some 18 years, 90 years in your squad. But the rest must be players that can win you now. Because winning now is what gets you the money. And this is what someone somewhere needs to let our owners to understand. Listen, John Obi Mikel again stated, he said Kukurela. Mark Kukurela is not Chelsea's standard. This guy is being brutal. <laughs> People say that he's talking too much. Mikel is, you know, he's talking too much. But some of the things that he has said, there is a fact in it. He said, Kukurela is not Chelsea's standard. We need to see more from Casado and Enzo. That is it. Two really good players who need time. That is the point. They are good players. They are talented, but they need time. Two years, three years. Remember, Casado was playing with Brighton for only one season. He played with Brighton for only one full season. And we went and bought him. We bought him very expensive. We don't expect him. He's still young. But the fact is, you can buy players today, they can hit the ground running. We bought him, and from day one, he began to panic on the pitch of play. You remember that error he made that let to go? Yeah, when he came as a substitute. At the end of the day, we, he's still doing, you know, right now, both Casado and, 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 and uh, Enzo, they are doing quite well. 
But they are just playing an average game for Chelsea. That is why we said the team right now is a mid-table team. Dear friend, let me hear from me in the comment section. I will be back with more in a few hours. I will definitely be back. Is there two really good players who need time? Broja is not at the Chelsea level. I have my doubt over Jackson. We need a striker. Victor Osimhen will give us goals when he comes to Chelsea. I agree perfectly. I agree perfectly. We need the Drogba's in the Chelsea now. We need the Diego Costa's in the Chelsea now. The lion from Spain. That lion heart. That character. That mindset. Right now in Chelsea, I'm not seeing anyone that can stand up and say, hey guys, rise up. This game, we must win it. We must recover. We are down by two goals. Hey, do it. Do it. Do it. Let the blood flow. I remember when players of Chelsea of those days, they wear boots when the, their blood was leaking. They, are, they were injured, but they played through injury. They played through injury. The money they are receiving is big. They ought to sacrifice, my friend. Let me leave you here. I shall be back. Let me hear from you in the comment section. There is still more I'll be coming up with later. Exclusives. Have a great morning. Shalom and peace.